Our next speaker is uh, Mr. Henry Hughes, Jr. from Bowie, Maryland. Uh, he's a patient of Dr. John Steinberg's, and he's graciously uh, agreed to come here and talk to you. I'm not a doctor I'm a patient and what I'm hoping to do is be able to give you a patient's perspective uh, of how important it is for me personally to be able to get uh, care for diabetes but particularly for wound care um, my name is Henry R Hughes uh, jr. I'm 63 years old I was born in Jersey City New Jersey um, I graduated from Scotch Plains Fanwood High School in 1971 uh, I was very athletic as a youth. I lettered in college in basketball and also in track. I had full use of my uh, hands and, and feet in those activities, obviously. Uh, I have a bachelor's degree um, in psychology and minored in uh, English and sociology at the University of Rhode Island. <clears throat> my, um, I've been married for 40 years. My wonderful wife is uh, sitting uh, right there. Uh, she's been uh, one of my primary at home uh, support healthcare uh, persons. I have four children, and um, my history or background with regard to uh, employment, I started working with a company called uh, Allstate Insurance Company, um, and I later retired on disability with uh, State Farm Insurance Company eventually in 1999. After 20 years of dedicated service uh, to them, I was able to, to retire. And what happened while I was employed, I developed high blood pressure. I also developed a high elevated sugar levels that over time began to increase and increase. I developed diabetes, kidney failure. I've been on di dialysis uh, two different times. I've got gout, Charcot, which is a uh, foot deformity, uh, that uh, disease that is secondary to diabetes. Uh, because of my health condition, um, eventually I developed a lot of problems with my feet, with my foot. Um, somewhere around 1990, uh, with my severe high blood pressure and diabetes, it began to manifest themselves, particularly in my feet. Um, Dr. Armstrong mentioned uh, uh, neuropathy. I have neuropathy in my, in my feet and my hands, which uh, actually is a lack of uh, feeling in the feet. So if I were to bump my feet against something, I would have no idea that I hit it. It, it, it doesn't hurt. Uh, Dr. Steinberg over here, my, my wonderful physician, uh, often does uh, clinical visits when I go there, and I don't have any pain. I mean, he can you go with a scalpel, which he likes to do, and takes off some dead skin and, and some other things uh, on my wounds. Uh, but I don't have the benefit of having, a, a, of, uh, having feeling in my feet, which can be very... Uh, nerve-wracking at times because you never know when you're injured and when you're a diabetic you really have to be careful that you get treatment and make sure that if you have any bleeding or anything you got to take care of it very quickly um, over the years I've had many many uh, surgical procedures I've had two kidney transplants um, which uh, up here hurts <laughs> with the kidney when we had the surgery but um, with the uh, with the problems with my feet um, I've been very fortunate that I had uh, good health care. I've had good insurance that's been able to uh, pay for my, my care. I think over the uh, last uh, uh, 20, 25 years or so, I probably incurred approximately about $2 million in health costs, uh, which fortunately, because of uh, my employment and also my wife's employment, we've always had pretty good health care, and they covered most of the cost. Uh, I'm sure many of you here probably have uh, family members, if not parents or grandparents or other family members, you know somebody who has diabetes. And uh, that's a kind of a disease that slowly can really take control over your life over time. And by the time it begins to manifest itself, uh, a lot of times it's, very, it's too late. My father um, was a diabetic, my mother was a diabetic, my grandfather was a diabetic. My father, uh, just before he passed away, about seven, about seven, four, four, 
five years ago, he, um, he lost his, uh, his leg, one of his legs. And uh, he also went blind before he died because of diabetes. And that's a life-changing experience. Um, I'm sure if you know people who have diabetes, who have gone blind, who have lost their limbs, uh, it's a significant uh, impact on their life, their way of life. And not only does it infect, uh, affect them personally, but also it also changes the uh, dynamics of the family. Because obviously, if, if you're married, hopefully you have uh, someone who cares about you personally. And seeing you suffer going through uh, the ravages of diabetes, which caused my kidney disease, uh, ultimately responsible for my gout, caused my limbs to have problems. Um, you need somebody to be able to help you and support you, but that impacts their life too. Sometimes uh, if they have to work full time, what are you going, who's going to take care of you if you, if you don't have a leg, uh, if you have difficulty getting around? Um, my wife and I have been married for 40 years. I'm looking forward to this coming June uh, to go on a cruise and celebrate my 40th anniversary. One of my biggest wishes that I have is I want to be able to uh, have a dance with my wife the opening dance that we had when we got married. Uh, that would not be possible if I didn't have a leg. Maybe it would be, but it would be extremely awkward and difficult to be able to get around. So it's, uh, from my perspective, I'm very fortunate that I've had health care. I'm very fortunate that uh, during this period of time of my illnesses, I've had uh, people to be able to uh, tend to my injuries and be able to be compassionate and take, and take care of uh, the problems that I have with my feet, and be somebody who will listen to me. And uh, that's one of the uh, big advantages I have was having uh, Dr. Steinberg over at Georgetown Washington Hospital uh, Center. Uh, he and his staff are very compassionate and go a long way trying to save my limbs. I was able to walk from over here. I actually walked from the beginning, the front of the Rayburn Center to here uh, with the aid of a, of a crutch. But I was able to walk here, see? And uh, it would be very difficult for me in my everyday activities in life to be able to be able to do that. Um, I've been uh, very um, active in my life uh, at home, at my local uh, congregation. I, um, I strive to help people uh, in my personal ministry to help people to come to an understanding of, uh, of life and, and of the Bible and that kind of thing. And it's volunteer work that I do. Uh, that would have a tremendous impact on my way of life and that component of my life if I was not able to be able to get from uh, place to place to be able to have uh, what I call you know, Bible studies with people. Uh, that's what I do since I'm disabled. That's why I try to spend a lot of time doing that. Now my appearance here, my motivation for being here to talk to you because I want you to have a perspective, the proper perspective of what it's like for a patient, what he has to go through uh, if he doesn't have proper health care. Uh, if I didn't have the doctors and other medical staff that I've had over the years, I would not have been able to walk in here. It's, it's very questionable that I'd be alive right now. So uh, I really benefited a lot by having the access to good health care and, uh, and also the means by which I can pay for that health care. Uh, my life would be a lot different and the impact on my family would be a lot different. My life has always been dedicated to my family and my friends the service of my community. Um, I've gone through a lot medically. Uh, my wife uh, gave me one of her kidneys uh, back in 2002, uh, which I'm very, uh, very happy to, to uh, received. And it took me off of dialysis. That lasted for about six years, the kidney, because it wasn't a perfect match. But later on, I was able to go, I had to go back on dialysis for another uh, period of time, four or five years and I was able to get another kidney again, <clears throat> which for, uh, fortunately I still have and it's, and it's working. Um, so that's very impactful. But the thing is, is that my kidneys failed because of a combination of diabetes and high blood pressure. Now, it, this is a, ra a, a, a terrible disease to have. And if you know anybody with diabetes and the end stages of diabetes, it's very difficult, particularly if you love the individual that's going through this. The person has to change their way of life. Uh, I was working for State Farm Insurance Company as a State Farm agent. Uh, I've been there State Farm for 20 years. I had to retire, something I did not want to do. I loved my job. I loved talking to my clients that I have. 
But I had to leave because I had to go on dialysis because of kidney failure, because of diabetes. Okay, so uh, it does impact an individual's life. I wish there were more people. I know that you know somebody. I think Dr. Armstrong mentioned some 30 million people. I believe was on, on diabetes or has diabetes. Now uh, I'm sure everybody here knows somebody who has diabetes. Think about how their life has changed when that disease begins to uh, uh, take over their life because of health issues. It's not pleasant. When you see your mother or father lose a leg, it's not pleasant. When your loved one loses their eyesight that they've had and they can't get around anymore, you know, just going around and you know, being able to do the basic things, going to take a shower, going to the bathroom, uh, doing things, uh, uh, showing love towards their loved one. They can't go out and get a gift and do things. They lose their mobility oftentimes. So it's, it's very difficult. So I know what I have, that I've been fortunate enough to have these things over these uh, 20, 20, 30 years. As my health continues to deteriorate, I'm able to be able to, fortunately, being able to salvage my feet. I still have them. Uh, this past December and January, I gone through five operations on my foot. I lost three toes on my left foot. Three years ago, I lost three toes on my right foot. Okay, so now at least they're looking the same now. You know, I got, I, you know. <laughs> so, uh, but um, it's difficult to go through that. And uh, Dr. Steinberger can attest that uh, I'm a very serious patient about my health care. Uh, I want to know what they're doing, and I want to be able to get the best outcome possible. Uh, I have the benefit of having that. Georgetown Hospital has been able to provide that for me. Dr. Steinberg uh, sees to that I get that kind of care. Uh, and I think everybody should have that kind of care. There are a lot of people who have diabetes who uh, haven't had the, the um, resources that I've had to get the kind of health care that I've had. Uh, fortunately, I've had a reasonably good life because I was able to go to school, uh, have a family, had a career. But now I got a deal. This is one of my main focuses now is to keep myself alive because of what I have to go through. And uh, fortunately, I have a good support system to be able to do that. So those who are decision makers here, uh, those who have influence with decision makers, I would strongly uh, encourage you to do what you can to see that everybody can have access to good health care so they can benefit and have the best possible life that they can have uh, and not with uh, not live through the possible negative restrictions that uh, diabetes and uh, loss of a limb can cause to them. So I appreciate that. Thank you, Mr. Hughes.